In this video, we are going to look at a few examples that will help us to practice using exterior angles and theorems related to them. Now in example A, it says find the measure of angle RQS. So angle RQS will be right here. And we notice that we have an exterior angle marked. So, so the 112 degree angle is an exterior angle to that triangle. So the exterior angle and angle RQS form a linear pair because together they're on a straight line. So that means to get the measure of angle RQS, all we have to do is subtract 112 from 180 degrees. And when we do that, we'll end up with our answer. So the measure of angle RQS equals 68 degrees. So that's an important thing to realize is that interior angles and their corresponding exterior angles will always be a linear pair and add up to 180 degrees. All right, let's look at example B. This says find the measure of the numbered interior and exterior angles in the triangle. All right, so in order to find angle one and angle two, we can do what we did in example A. So we have the 92 degree angle and angle one are a linear pair, so they have to add up to 180 degrees. So the measure of angle one will be 180 minus 92 or 88 degrees. For the measure of angle two, the measure of angle two plus the 123 degree angle have to add up to 180 degrees again because they form a linear pair. So the measure of angle two will be 180 minus 123, which is 57 degrees. Now in order to find angle three and angle four, we can do a couple things. Now that we know a lot of information, we could find the measure of angle three by remembering that the triangle sum theorem tells us the three angles in the triangle have to add up to 180. So that means that 88 plus 57 plus the measure of angle three has to equal 180. And we can use that to solve for the measure of angle three by minusing 88 and minusing 57 from 180. We end up with 35. So if angle three is 35 degrees, we can get angle four by again subtracting 180. So the measure of angle four equals 180 minus 35, which is 145 degrees. Now you should remember something in this situation that angle four, another way we could have gotten that would be to add up angle one and angle two because angle four will always be the sum of angle one and angle two. That's the theorem that an exterior angle always equals the sum of the remote interior angles. All right, finally, let's look at example uh, C, which says, what is the value of P in the triangle below? So let's practice a new thing in this example, which is that the sum of the three exterior angles always is going to be 360 degrees. So first let's solve for this angle X by doing 360 minus 110 minus 130 to get the measure of angle X, and then we can get P after that. So 360 minus 110 minus 130 is 120. So the measure of angle X here is 120. And because angle P and angle X are a linear pair, that means that angle P has to be 60 degrees because it has to add to, one, or to 180 with the 120. So the measure of angle P equals 60 degrees.